So welcome back everybody. Uh, we got some teething issues sorted out at the beginning. We're going to be urbanifying this entire planet. And uh, I've got Reject Toman and Ensign Huberg with me. I wonder if can I, can I run up this thing? You guys are picking a plate each. Have you got a plate yet? Not yet. I have a plate. You have. All right. So I take it you're both on different plates, yeah? Uh, I haven't selected a plate yet. All right. Well, make sure to leave some kind of marking. Oh my God! It's an Apollo lander. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. It's my tin can. Yeah, it's cool. So he's off to find himself a plate. Make sure you mark your plates, guys. Oh, I've got my uh, little block there already. All right. What about, is anyone building on the original plate where we all started? Because I can do that if there's no one doing it. You do that one. All right. <clears throat> Looks good. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are. We're doing a recap. So what I've done is I've built this planet pod, which is just a sort of generic thing that can go together. It's very, very simple, but that's so you can customize it. It's got a little area here for a door and a little ra a little lamp, a ramp coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, put two symmetries down, and then I'm going to grab my paste. I'm going to paste it right over the corner. I wonder which way I need to figure out which way is going to take priority. I think if I do it here, let's find out what happens. <laughs> okay, I have to sort out the rims, but it's good to go, baby. <laughs> I can just make all... Right, okay, give me two seconds. Okay, so here we are. This is my progress. So I created this little thingy. And then using a bit of symmetry, I've whacked down a whole load of different sort of combinations. I tried to make them flush, but I'm going to go around and tidy it up in a minute. The only drawback is that we get a bit of randomness. So like here, I'll have to go in and clean up the inside a little bit. And also, sometimes you get a bit of terrain in there, but it's all good. Everything seems to change, which is very nice. So that's why I didn't put the doors in as well, guys, you know. But gets you some nice random little structures. Like this one's got no doors. <laughs> All the doors are inside. Look. It's, it's got a cactus, though. Yeah, true. It's got a cactus. That's what's. That's the main thing. So I've managed to make a large complex. A sort of section of labs. A bunch of like storage bits. <laughs> some kind of radio tower. Uh, con uh, control ops because it's got a mountain you know what I mean uh, tool shed and workshops I'm just making it up as I go along but you know that if you've been watching my videos <laughs> okay so far I don't know who's this who's the guy with the white building and the moon lander who's got That's the moon lander right. Ensign Huberg so Ensign Huberg is here that's where he's at Okay, and we've all got access to an infinite shop. Well, not an infinite shop, but a fully stocked shop. Um, and they are the owners of said shop. Right, and then on this side, we've got Reject Omen. Is this yours with the runway? I'm sorry, the roads? Uh, the roads, the sorry. roads kind of going to nowhere and little mud huts, yes. Couple little houses. Are you cut and paste in your houses? Yes. Good. Good. It takes too long to build them individually. It does, doesn't it? I did the first two and I was like, you know, I'm just going to copy this and put it over here and over here. So there we go. So let's carry on with the build. Okay. So it's time for another update, guys. I haven't done many of the buildings. There's still a lot to do. But um, I just want to show you the other guys' stuff before I show you what I've done. So first of all, who's got the radio tower? Me, Ensign Huberg. Ensign Huberg. This is shaping up real nice. Now he's got a few things down. Oh yeah, lovely. Look at that. Random design. I love it. And then this, your lander's fallen over a bit. It looks like Kerbal mm. in here. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Oh, you've got some kind of like... 
cyber church. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty epic. Over here, it looks like power. I'm gonna have to make myself some funky power. What else have we got? Okay, which way was it for the other? No. Oh, wait, yeah, this is it. Oh, wait, no, is it? I think it might be. Oh, you made a temple with a really tall cactus and roads more roads more huts you got another hut and another house way over there he's got more buildings than us yours looks like uh, the badlands do you know what I mean like yours fits in with the desert a bit more than us it really fits in like So what's this? We've also got the new salvager which we're going to be giving away based on the Migraine Trigger 3 built by one of our admins. It's all cheap and basic hulls. A little salvager for everyone. But I think I'm going to give them away. Uh, so anyway. Let's check out this plate then. Oh yeah, I see what you I see what you was talking about now. When you're above it, it really does. Mhm. Mm oh wow, yeah, that didn't take long, did it? Okay, let me just show you around the one section that I've done, which would be, I guess, the labs. So obviously it was a bit messy in there, but what we've done is we've created it's all airtight. So the way to get in is through this pressurized corridor. Come in, close it behind you. Still got a bit of tidying up to do. Uh-oh, that's not pressurized. We've got problems, guys. Okay, so then we head up. We've got these two. If I want to go to the back, I go through this one, and then through this one, and through this joining corridor, and through this one. Oh, that's interesting. What the hell happened there? Is that actually not glass? It's not, is it? <laughs> it's not even a glass door. That would be why it's not open. Is it just glass? It's just glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hmm. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm like, why can I keep? Why, why can't I open this glass door? Oh, it's yeah. just glass. <laughs> so come through here to the front. And this is where you'd have like a little, uh, I don't know, storage area for important things. Because it's a bit of a ball ache to get here and then it get back out again. And you've just got a little enclosed room. So if I now go to the back. And there's two sides. We've got these weird doors again coming into the middle where the corridor is to get out. I'm going to put a door down here, I think. A little hatch. Um, and then there's observation to see through to the next side, but you can just walk through. Walk through. Open up this one. And then we've got another junction. And then in here, we've just got a, like a one, you know, one side is smaller. So I guess you could have like a, like a lab in there for different purposes. And then we'll use this side if you want to get straight in there. So it's all accessible. And I've just plonked the floor down and the connecting tubes. And uh, Symmetry did the rest. I obviously tidied up the those bits. Probably going to put a permission block with some logic attached to these to let people get in and out. So 